Hey guys, and welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope you enjoyed the beginning part of your month. Now let's go ahead and dive deep into the mid-month reading for March of 2018. Hello Capricorn, and welcome to your mid-month 2018 reading for March. I want to go ahead and get started and look into your headspace here. Let's see where you are in your mental space for mid-March Capricorn. Wow, okay, so the Crone of Earth Ascension. So in your headspace, you guys are still um, transforming old thought patterns and, and raising your frequency. You have your focus on your new reality here. There's a new reality you're trying to create and I see you focus like that's that's what you're focusing on. You have strong intention to 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 make a better life for yourself right now. Oops. So for your heart space, I want to see what is in your heart space here, Capricorn. Child of Earth, design. So you're coming from a very pure and innocent place in your heart. I feel that because you have this in your heart energy, you're able to be more present somehow. You're able to see things more clearly somehow. I want to look into your recent past. The Nine of Earth community. That is really funny because this is all earthy energy here and you are an earth sign. <laughs> So I feel that with this card here, you guys embraced your individuality. You embraced your unique self. And you know, you. I feel like it's a sense of you guys kind of like accepting yourselves more fully and, and embracing your unique, uh, the things that make you unique in other words, and allowing others to be their unique selves as well. Not trying to like force someone to be like you. So you accept yourself and you accept others for being different as well. So I want to pull a card for your future here. Mother Mary, sacrifice. So your future, I see you being pure of mind, pure of heart, having an open heart, being compassionate. You, um, you've but you're someone who's seen it. You've seen a lot. So I see you in your future card here. Ha you know, there's some so, some form of self-sacrifice that I'm feeling here, okay? So some form of self, uh, of, in other words, of having to persevere. Some form of persevering and having that faith that everything will turn out for the best. Let's see your advice card here for the mid-March 2018. Yeah, but perseverance is a big word here. And it's a big energy here because it's a major arcana. It's a purple card from this deck. So it's a huge influence for you. Your advice, 10 of earth, fruition. So it's funny because your advice is really good. Your advice is to celebrate because it's what I see happening here is you guys put a lot of effort into something in your life and you're finally going to start to see um, the, the fruits of your labor. So you're finally going to see that um, there's something coming from all your hard work. And your advice here is to be generous, you know, be be happy, be more present. Enjoy your blessings coming in fully. <laughs> so your advice is, hey, you have a lot of blessings coming in. Make sure you're present to enjoy them fully and celebrate. <laughs> celebrate your success. Celebrate your um, accomplishments here. Celebrate your everything you've accomplished and i see it blessings coming in so celebrate these blessings okay um let's go ahead and clarify this headspace here let's clarify this headspace the crone of earth all right so you've got the eight of cups reversed I don't always read my cards reverse, but this did come out reverse and I feel like it is a reverse card. So you guys left an old, some of you guys left an old place, some people, there's just an energy here of leaving something that no longer served you, whether it's a thought pattern. And I feel that it's most likely a thought pattern for a lot of you because it is in your headspace, but it could very well be, um, 
an actual job or situation or whatever the case is, it, it there was nothing good for you there any longer. So you walked away from it in order to ascend, to, to raise your frequency. Let's clarify this heart space, the child of earth. Oh my goodness, Ace of Cups. So for some of you, there's an actual child here that uh, will be born or you heard about a pregnancy. The child, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups represents new love, new true love. And a lot of times can represent, you know, children coming into this world. But if not, if not, this can represent... Um, you have in your cup full it is in your heart space so i feel that you feel uh fulfilled you feel like your cup runneth over <laughs> um that or maybe some of you are thinking about a new be there's some new beginning here in your heart space some new beginning in your heart space with love which is causing you to see through childlike eyes so it could be a new relationship you started or new romance or something new connection that's making you feel in love and seeing things from a more innocent light-hearted um place when you're when it comes to your heart space let's clarify this recent past the nine of earth i don't know why my cards are sticking together Oh my gosh, should I get syrup on them? Okay, you've got the Four of Swords. So I feel that you that you've come out of this energy of like just thinking, kind of like waiting, just waiting. I almost feel like some of you like had some sort of stuff going on in, in your life in your recent past that you kind of like maybe in the past you were freaking out about it, but I see in your recent past that you kind of found your stillness. You kind of found your place of balance and you didn't allow for these external influences to affect you any longer. So you found your peace in, in the darkness. You found your peace surrounded by whatever that was, <laughs> whatever that was for you. Um, let's look at your future card here. Mother Mary, sacrifice. Okay, so through your perseverance, guys, through your through taking life with grace and knowing that it will sh shift for the better, um, by through your perseverance and being pure of hearts and pure of mind, you will see the light again. You will come out of this dark energy, and I feel like you've already you're already coming out of it. But if you're still in there, it's like you're finally starting to see a breakthrough. You're finally starting to see a light at the end of this tunnel. For some of you, it can represent travel. Maybe there's some, it can represent travel. Um, but it's just like that energy of, oh, hope at last. You finally see the light. Like I said, there's hope there at last. For your advice card, let's clarify that. The Hanged Man. So that's really interesting to come up here. And it is a major arcana. So it's a huge influence, guys. Let me move this over a little bit. It's interesting because the Hanged Man is about sacrifice, about letting go. Kind of like, you know, not, not being so concerned with where you're going to end up because you trust in the flow again. Um, and it's funny because it's a very similar message to this, kind of like persevering, but, um, you know, there's a, some form, there's some energy of like self-sacrifice here somehow and just going with the flow because you have the faith that it's going to turn out in your favor. So your advice is to let go. Let's go and go with the flow. <laughs> okay. prosperity prosperity is coming guys prosperity is either here in mid-march or it is going to be here very soon that and i feel like you guys have like prosperity on your mind for some of you i just feel like it's heavily on your mind money is heavily on your mind um but i do see that most of you will be seeing the the fruits of your labor you will be reaping your rewards a brilliant solution is on its way. 
So this perseverance, keep in mind that there's a brilliant solution on the way. So that will help you to persevere. Romance. Romance. I feel like romance is in the air for you guys for some reason. Um, and because, I mean, you have the Ace of Cups in your heart. So for some of you, it's a new romance. For some of you, it's just a rekindling of your current romance. Um, I don't know. Just romance is in the air. That, for some of you, I feel that romance is actually going to be coming in for you. So maybe not quite right now for some of you. But I feel that romance is either here or it's coming. <laughs> Sacred space. Sacred space, guys. The dragonfly. Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power in stillness. In your sacred space is the peace you seek. Fill your heart with the love of the universe as well as the feminine energies and the masculine energies, then there's no room for hate. So there's some sort of like balance that needs to occur here between masculine and feminine within yourself. Um, because I feel like if you're a woman especially, then there's like some sort of like slight <laughs> like feelings that you have towards men that um, like almost like an untrusting feeling or I don't know, like... I don't know. There's just some inequality in your mind is what I'm hearing. There's an inequality when it comes to men and women. But really, once you re once you realize that we're all equal, and, and then you can accept that the feminine and the masculine side within yourself are equal. Because if you put men on pedestals, then, then you're going to put the, you know, it's like you're going to put down your feminine side within you and think it's like less than. If that makes sense or vice versa vice versa so there needs to be a balance here in your perception of male and female energies outside of you and within you and that'll bring more harmony to your life stick with it stick with it i feel like you guys are going to know what that means for you stick with it whatever this is stick with it <laughs> and i feel like you will because you have the perseverance card here in your future and in your advice card so i feel like you will stick with it you are limitless i love this card i love all of these cards are so pretty you are limitless recognize this truth you can do anything you choose to so you guys need to remember you are a powerful you're an incredibly powerful manifester and you are creating your reality every day with every move every day with every lack of every move or with every move um let's pull one last card and we will wrap up your reading oh oh i kind of feel like where did it go one of these wanted to come out this one heart trellis i love these <laughs> images um feel your heart's desire draw in the light and circulate it through your body use passion combined with the light to bring your goals to fruition if you have drawn this card you're being asked to lead with your heart send passion to what you love and experience the most direct route to receiving healing light well, that is your mid-month reading, guys. I hope that resonated with you. If you would like a personal reading, you can book one down below. There's an, there is a link in the description box. If you'd like, you could also go to theenchantedone.com and just book a personal reading there under Psychic Readings. Um, there's also a link in my description box for... Um, for my Instagram and my Facebook account as well. Okay, guys, you enjoy the rest of your month and have a stellar day.